Well, it is my distinct honor to bring up and join me on the stage, FRC's founding president, Dr. Jerry Regeer. thing missing is Ed McMahon. <laughs> you know, Jerry served as our first president for five years beginning in 1983 and uh, prior to that he served with Campus, Campus Crusade for Christ for 13 years. He was at the University of Texas and the uh, Christian Embassy here in DC and he had a, a distinguished career in public service having served uh, secretary in, the, in, uh, in cabinet positions for two state governors policy leader for three presidents, and he stays, continues to stay active. He is uh, actually working with Liberty University and Walden University, chairing doctoral uh, dissertation committees. Uh, he and his wife, Sharon, have met, been married for 55 years, and Sharon is with him here tonight, and uh, they live in Ashburn, Virginia, and they attend Cornerstone Chapel. How about that? <laughs> Jerry, I want to start... By the way, folks, where do we start? No, well, that was, that's right. But let's go back a little bit. There's three things we're to do. What? Pray, vote, stand. Wow. Now, I don't want you to forget that. We pray, vote, stand. So, Jerry, let's talk about where the Family Research Council started. It started with prayer. Dr. Dobson made reference to it. Tell us a little bit more about that prayer meeting. Yeah, Dr. Dobson, he, I mean, he's an icon. He's uh, just influenced so many people. He's had a huge impact in my life. And uh, a little backstory on that. Uh, basically, he um, was already on the radio. He started his radio program in 77. And in the late 70s, uh, I was following the White House Conference on Families that he talked about. And, uh, and I just began to see that there was nobody from the Christian world that was being invited to that conference. Here it is, a conference on the families, and our experts are not there. And, um, and so I got to know the leaders of that White House conference on families. And uh, one day he called me, the leader called me and said, let's have lunch. So we had lunch, and he said, we're getting all these letters from all over the country, thousands of letters saying we want Dr. James Dobson to be on this family White House Conference on Families. He said, who is this guy? <laughs> and uh, it just struck me that the secular world had their experts and the Christian world had our experts and they never mixed. And so out of that, I decided to, uh, I said, well, I'd like him to come. And he said, well, why don't you see if he would be willing to come? So I picked up the phone, not knowing Dr. Dobson, and called him, and uh, it was just an amazing conversation. I shared with him a little bit about the White House Conference on Families, and I shared with him some of what had been going on in my own heart in terms of really thinking about a biblically-based think tank here in D.C. And as I shared that with him, uh, he told me, he said, Jerry, he said, we've been praying here at Focus for, for weeks, wondering how we could get involved in this conference and in Washington. And he said, I think this is an answer to prayer. And so the Lord just really knit our hearts together. And it was just beautiful. And that was in late 79. And uh, then he, I went ahead and invited these Christian leaders and some academics so the buddies he talked about are those people that came, and uh, we met here in the Shoreham, the old Shoreham. Well, how and, about that? Uh, and basically, right we met that evening and had prayer together, and uh, the Lord just met us in a very unusual way, and it was just an amazing time to, to hear him really confirm what, what we were thinking about and what we were so, so talk about that just for a moment, that, that, that what that prayer meeting was like in, in, this, in the sense of direction that the Holy Spirit was giving to this group of men. 
Well, Dr. Dobson, of course, was the, the, the well-known person in the group, although there, some of the other Christian leaders were quite well-known nationally as well. But uh, as we prayed together, and, and I talked about this idea that you already brought up, that it seemed like we were marching around the building as Christians because voices were being raised on a lot of the issues, definition of the family, traditional marriage, even way back then. But we weren't inside having those conversations. But we weren't inside the room. And, uh, and basically, that's the concept and when, when Dr. Dobson was able to be at this research forum, in a sense, he became inside the room because that was put on by the White House. And that just kind of changed our ideas and they all bought in. So, so Jerry, just taking that one point for just a moment, juxtapose where we were 40 years ago as a movement, not an organization, but a movement and where we are today. Because there's this, sometimes we have a very narrow focus and we get discouraged because we don't see what we want right this minute accomplished. But when we look in terms of the long game, a lot has been accomplished. Oh, absolutely. I mean, this was God's vision. I mean, it was a vision that he, he gave with me, but I think he had already planted it in Dr. Dobson's heart also, wanting to be involved here. And so, and so bringing that together, knowing that it really had come from the Lord, and, and just knitting our hearts together like that, um, we began to just start small. And um, I started in a room with one secretary, and I quit a job that was very secure, and um, wondered, what am I doing here? <laughs> so uh, I wondered that a few times myself. Uh, <laughs> Let's talk about the Family Research Council for just a moment and that the initial vision of the Family Research Council, both that you had and then collectively that launched this organization. Well, the vision was that, that we would, initially it was kind of weighted toward the idea that Jim spoke about on the, on the video, and that was that there were not academics coming to hearings here, Christian academics, and uh, as I would go to hearings, being part of the Christian embassy, I was spending a lot of time on the Hill with, with uh, congressmen and senators. And you just didn't hear our viewpoint at all. And so it, it was the idea of, first of all, which the council idea came to, to bring together this network of, of Christian academics that could be at the table when policy was made. And, and obviously, we were wanting to have a ministry in lives as well, but that was kind of the main. So to bring vision. the biblical worldview into the public policy making of the country. Right, and 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 the idea of a biblical worldview in terms of a think tank. Those of you who have been around Washington for a long time know that there were think tanks here, and uh, some good think tanks, but there was nothing like uh, we were talking about with uh, the Family Research Council. And what has been so amazing to me, Tony, is is to see how God then kind of passed that baton on. I was there five years. I took a sabbatical, got a master's at, at, at Harvard, and Gary took it over, and he just took it to a whole nother level. And, uh, and he'll be speaking here in a minute, I think. And, uh, and, then, and then you have taken it to uh, an amazing... I mean, this is just so beyond what I could dream of in terms of those early days, because it's God's vision, and he hands it off to faithful people. Well, I appreciate that, Gary. Um, and there are many organizations that start, many organizations that grow, but in terms of that initial vision, has FRC been faithful to that vision? Oh, absolutely, you've been faithful. Um, the, the prayer undergirding, that was at the beginning, and, and you have continued that. And, and there, was also, uh, there was always a tendency to kind of, you know, maybe, maybe we shouldn't be that upfront about some of our biblical uh, views, and, and, but we wanted to, and, uh, and, and you have taken that to a whole nother level. And so this biblical basis that it was born in prayer and that you have faithfully continued to do that and be analyzing policy from a biblical worldview, be speaking to power from a biblical worldview, and uh, that was unique, and I think it continues to be unique. 
Well, Jerry, we stand on, on your shoulders and those that came behind you. I, I, on behalf of, of everybody, I just want to take just a moment to thank you for having that initial vision. And well, that. <laughs> thank you, Tony. I want to pray for Jerry. You know, he has run the race well. And he's still running, all right? And you're still running, okay? All right. But, you know, he took a risk, and he founded this organization. So many organizations move on, and they never stop to say thank you to those. You know, people don't, people don't see the sacrifices that really those who found organizations and start. Dr. Dobson talked about this, that, you know, the initial expenses of the Family Research Council were on his personal credit card. He funded it. He got it going. And, I, excuse me. Perfect. Let us give honor where honor is due. So, Father, I thank you for Jerry and Sharon. I thank you for their faithfulness. And, Lord, as an organization that, Lord, they were a part of giving birth to through obedience to you, Lord, as now this organization moves into adulthood, 40 years old, we turn just as a child turns to a parent and say, thank you. Thank you for what you've given us. Thank you for what you have poured into this organization. Thank you for your obedience. And may the Lord bless you for how you have blessed so many. And may you share in the rewards of what comes forth from the fruit of the Family Research Council. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.